Hey there, welcome to another Mindset Digital Fast Focus. And time to knuckle down, kids, because this one's all about algorithms. Uh, I was told that there would be no math. Actually, this math takes place under the hood. We're talking about social media algorithms, which now play a bigger and bigger role in how you're interacting online. You see, back in the early days of social media, whenever you visited a site like Facebook, the content that was on your newsfeed appeared in reverse chronological order. In other words, the very latest posts from your friends were right at the top. But as Facebook exploded in popularity and you started to have 200, 300 or more Facebook friends, reverse chronological order failed to serve up the content you're most interested in. So about seven years ago, Facebook turned to algorithms to solve this problem. Their algorithm looks at the people and things you interact with on the site in order to determine whose content you're most likely to be interested in. In doing so, the site programmatically chooses the content that appears on your newsfeed and has been for years. The specifics of what Facebook's algorithm examines is a closely guarded secret, and Facebook is constantly tweaking and updating it to provide better and more relevant results. Even Twitter, which prides itself on being all about the here and now and has resisted using algorithms, has recently rolled out their first algorithmic feed. It's subtle, but the site now shows you the top tweets that you've missed near the top of your feed, sort of an expansion of their while you were away feature that launched in 2015. Users who prefer reverse chronology can still opt out of Twitter's algorithmic feed, but the writing appears to be on the wall. The role of algorithms and what your social channels serve up to you is only going to continue to grow. So it was no surprise when Instagram rolled out their first algorithm this past month. According to Instagram, most users end up missing about 70% of the content they follow when using reverse chronology. The switch to algorithms has the greatest impact on marketers, those who are charged with reach, visibility, and engagement for branded content. Many marketers have realized that the era of free social, the time when you could create great engagement through truly organic reach, is coming to an end. For brands, the algorithm era will more and more be about paid campaigns supporting their content. If you're using social channels to build your reputation, establish yourself as a thought leader or grow and expand networks that are important to you. Then, at the very least, you need to know the fundamentals of how these algorithms work. If your strategy has been simply about posting content and not engaging with others with comments and likes and retweets and conversations, then you need to be aware that the algorithms do not look favorably on you or your content. But the more active and engaged you are with your connections, the more conversations you're having, the more relevant an algorithm will likely deem your content. Setting algorithms aside for a moment, the thing we need to remember is that social networks are at their heart about connection, managed digitally, but real and significant nonetheless. And the more connections you build, the more people are likely to be interested in what you're all about. As long as it's not math. As long as it's not math. See, that wasn't so bad. No, it wasn't. But that does wrap up this Fast Focus update. We'll be back in a few weeks with something new. Check out MindsetDigital.com for more information about our training products that will get you up to speed fast.